One of my favorite places to get Italian food on the Las Vegas Strip is at Italy in front of the Park MGM. This is kind of like an Italian supermarket meets an Italian food hall. In this video, I'm gonna show you around, but uh, just before I'm doing this video, I'm eating the Tagliatelle Bolognese with Buffalo Mozzarella. This is mozzarella cheese from Italy. It's super tasty. Super fresh tomatoes. Super fresh cheese that's nice and moist, just like it would be in Italy. And I've got some sparkling orange to wash it down. But let's go ahead and take a walk through. And I figure we should start this tour just coming in from the outside as if you would from the strip. It's actually two ways into Italy. One from the strip here, it's basically right next to the New York, New York Hotel. Or you can come in through the Park MGM Casino. Italy literally just kind of butts up against the casino. So as we come in on the right hand side is the supermarket area and a bakery. We'll check that out in just a moment. But I want to take you to the food court part, which is directly up this staircase. To the left that we passed is a bread bakery and the wine area. Now, the way Italy is set up in the food area, there's all these little stations right here. This is basically the um, the bar. Like if you want to get some Italian drinks, you get it right here. There's the pizzeria. And in each one of these little stations, that's like the station where they make the food. So you can see here in the pizzeria, they've got all the pizzas right there, the pizza oven. We'll go to the other side and you can see them on display. The pasta that you saw me eating came from the fresh pasta place right back here. But you can see in the fresh pasta place, they've got all the stuff back here to make the pastas. And, uh, if you were here in the morning when they're doing that, then you would see that being made and then cooked in the back. There's uh, Italy's fish over here where you can get some big whole fish cooked up for you. Uh, literally one of these fishes they will toss in the oven or they'll grill, you know, however you want it done. You can see the big sea beam there is $38. They've also got like um, fish skewers, shrimps, things like that. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the pizzas as I promised we would. These are the handcrafted Roman pizzas, kind of a hallmark of any Italy. You can see these have like prosciutto on them, mushrooms, uh, hot honey, and uh, you know, the classic margarita right there, cooked up in the pizza oven. Another notable one is their La Salumeria, where if you wanted to get some of that buffalo mozzarella, you can see they got it floating right back there. The fresh mozzarella, you can also get these kind of like um, sampling snacking plates if you just feel like having a few snacks. If you are hankering for steak, they have really good steaks too. Uh, right up here, you can see their uh, porterhouse steaks for $80, aged 12 months. Or perhaps you want the big tomahawk steak here, $108. You don't take it home raw, they cook it for you, but they display it in the case. There's also another central cocktail area right here, and then you see the Park M Gym Casino just beyond it. Uh, going this way is the Italian street food stall and the rotisserie. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and walk around the rotisserie side first so that you can see the chicken, prime rib. Very classic in Italy is to go to these places where you get like some roasted potatoes and some chicken or some beef, uh, Brussels sprouts. So they've got that all on offer here. And then just around this side of the rotisserie, uh, they've also got paninis right here. So if you want to get like a sandwich, the mortadella sandwich will be $10. The prosciutto one, a little more fancy meat, $14. And then the uh, fried foods that they have for the actual Italian street foods are right here. We've got these uh, house-made meatballs. We've got uh, fried mushrooms, fried fish, shrimp, squash, arancini, which is basically a fried rice ball. Um, and uh, then you got one that also has mozzarella and comes with tomato sauce. Vegas is all about bars, right? So there's a wine bar over here. The other ones we saw were more for cocktails. 
And then over in this corner is their sit-down restaurant, La Pazza e La Pizza e La Pasta. They've got some specials where you get like two courses for $30. They got a mozzarella bar. Um, this one, you can see the tables back there. There's the pizza ovens that come from Italy in the back. All of these other stalls, basically you just kind of sit at the open seating out here. There's no waiters. They give you a buzzer, you pick up your food, uh, and when you're done, um, you know, just leave your stuff there. Oh, by the way, they do make, uh, also in addition to the mozzarella from Italy, they also make fresh mozzarella here in house. If you're here in the morning, you can see them making it right here. And then this is going down to the supermarket section. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, check this out down here. Uh, here we have a fresh gelato shop and you know, ice cream stores in the US, often you can see the ice cream, but Italian gelato, you never can. It's always in these silver containers. Uh, there's a place that sells crepes right here. Popular flavor would be Nutella. If you like chocolates, Venchi right here makes some delicious chocolates and um, basically they kind of like weigh them up and that's how they charge you for them. Now in the supermarket section, you can get kind of a basic collection of Italian goods. Of course, you know, pasta sauce from Italy, uh, pasta from Italy, get your big pieces of lasagna, maybe get some lemon pepper, get some really big shells, uh, or perhaps you want some vinegar, or you want some olive oil from Italy. Uh, they've also got, you know, just things like if you always wanted a um, <clears throat> Italy saucer cup, you can get that too. Now, uh, there's also uh, cannoli, which I guess they would sell here, but today, because it's probably not that busy, they've got the cannoli over at their pastry shop. These pastries are incredible. Um, you can see here we've got like coconut pastries, we've got hazelnut pastries, cream puffs, pear pastries, and then a lot of little ones over here. Just like if you don't have a lot of room, you can get yourself a petite pastry or maybe a plain croissant, and then you can wash it all down with the coffee from Lavazza, the classic uh, Italian coffee brand, which makes pretty good coffee. And then here on the right is the checkout for the supermarket. I just point out they got a whole selection of Italian drinks back there and Italian cookies. Um, you know, maybe take something for the holidays, get like a tin for a gift. This is back at the front door. Something interesting I want to point out. They have shopping baskets like this you take around in Italy. This is what you'd get. It has like a like a handle so you can like wheel, wheel it around that way. But they've also got these plastic shopping cart things that you take the basket and put it on there to give yourself a shopping cart. So it's like two pieces to make the shopping cart. I've actually never seen that before. And then the final section over here is their uh, bread bakery and their wine section. So looking right here, you can see they are actually making bread right now. Look at that, they're rolling the bread, rolling the dough, which is pretty cool. And then you can buy that fresh baked bread right here from the bakery. And then the final section is the wine shop uh, where you can do like wine tastings. Uh, you can get like five ounces of wine for $5. Uh, you gotta do it before 3 p.m. And you can see they've got all the little uh, wine uh, containers there on offer, different glasses that you can pick there. And then just around this side on this staircase, that brings you right up into the food court section where we started. Well, there you have it, the best place to get Italian food on the Las Vegas Strip. If you're coming to Las Vegas and you wanna see more of my videos on Vegas, you'll find a couple on the screen or links in the description below. As usual, I won't say goodbye, cause I'll see you in one of those videos.